Only on 12 News, revenge porn taken to a new and alarming level. So with just a few clicks, online perverts can uncover a catalog of illicit photos organized by state, county, school, and sex act. Team 12's Jeremy Campbell joins us now with how hackers can steal, then swap your pictures like trading cards. There are places online where secrets are traded. Dan Snyder is an IT guy who knows where to find them. He's been tracking these creeps since his friend was hacked. Anonymous users share nude photos and videos without their consent. It's what's commonly referred to as revenge porn, and it includes stolen or hacked photos from victims' phones or their computers or cloud storage accounts like iCloud. Photos are traded anonymously. Some of them may upload illicit images of an ex or even strangers. So who's trading? Mostly men. These are regular people that are at work. They're husbands and fathers and brothers. They're not incredible monsters, but they're definitely capable of doing monstrous types of things. We obtained a list of email addresses connected to one of the sites. Most of the accounts were fake, but we did get one Georgia man on the phone who admitted to searching for X-rated images. What did you heard about the site? Uh, a friend who just told me about it. It was the amateur aspect of it all, really. I knew maybe one person, someone that I had went to school with. He found her on this website. It's called a non IB. And here, illicit photos are sorted into categories. It helps users hunt for the photos they want. They'll search by high school and even graduation year. Preferably class of 2016, but who cares? For victims, it's a never ending battle to keep pictures down. Belinda says hers have been reposted by strangers at least five times. I can usually tell when my pictures are back online because I get an influx of friend requests from random men and people I don't know. The danger really comes in because they're posting names and hometowns. They can find your employers, your coworkers, your families and victimize you that way. Photos traded are often stored on a computer system overseas, out of reach of local authorities. While the best defense against these hackers is to avoid taking pictures in the first place, if you do have private images, support groups want to help you protect them. You can uh, watermark your pictures with the name or username of the person you're sending it to. You can also not involve your face. Even when the photos come down, it's not always over. There are certainly archives out there. There's no guarantee that someone has not saved the picture and someone else may ask for it a week from now and a user will post that again. Jeremy tells us even if you don't have X-rated pics on your phone or computer, there's a chance someone will Photoshop your clothing out or crop your face out, put it on another body and pass those pics around online. It's awful, right?